All right, so uh, right now I'm currently up at a state forest in you know Pennsylvania, and uh, I'm going to show you guys something that I found back when I was 14. I did a deer hunting trip in this little area that I'm sitting in. It's uh, quite something. You, it's quite creepy. It's something you really don't want to come across. Uh, the good thing is about this one though is that it's been abandoned for what looks like a few years now and I've been back here a few times and uh, it appears some people also didn't like what they saw and they've cut down some of the trees that were involved in it but I know it's still back there so I'm gonna make my way back. All right so I'm out of my car and we're going way back there so uh, let's just go. Oh, hell, I'm not going to get back there again. See, the main problem is, is that it's just all bush right now. So, there's a lot of crap you got to walk through. But, um, basically from what I do know is I need to follow this little stream all the way back. Alright, so, I'm pretty much here now. It's like... A little bit of a hike just right through in there. Um, yes, you can see that little uh, debark tree over there. I'm pretty sure that's where it was. So I'm gonna walk over and I'm gonna see if everything is still here. I think it is, but. I need to be careful walking around here. Yep. So I'm staying back as far as I can from this little circle clearing right here because um, that was a fire pit at one point. And apparently it was also an altar. So, um, basically this tree here, that one, I believe that one there, that one, and then this one, or is this one, uh, they all had, uh, crosses on them at one point. And basically when I told my dad this, and I just walked into a fucking spider web, god damn it. Um, basically, my dad's into the whole, my dad's into the whole occult type thing. Um, basically, this was a ritual ground for Satanists. And I didn't know that at the time until I uh, told my dad about it. But apparently, the five trees represent um, all the elements that they believe in. And then the little fire pit down there is uh, ritual stuff. So yeah, um, I don't want to walk onto this land because apparently it's like cursed or something like that. And uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I ain't fucking with that shit. If you look at that tree there, you can kind of see the outline of cross on it. Same thing with that one. But yeah, um, I found this. Uh, I found this completely on accident, actually. The, um, somewhere up on this hill back here is a hill. Uh, I sat up there with a rifle just doing deer hunting. And I saw this. We came down. We checked it out. Didn't think much of it. And then I brought my dad back. A few months later, my dad was like, yeah, we're leaving. So, um, yeah, this place is kind of creepy, to be honest with you. It's eerily silent. And uh, it's just something I wanted to show off because it's a little bit weird. Um, it's been abandoned for a few years now, so I don't expect to find anyone up here. And I hope I don't. I remember this because me and my dad saw it when we came back here a few years afterwards. You guys might not think much of it. This is just a tree branch that goes from there to here with some logs on it. Thing is, that there is a Y. That used to actually hold up this bigger branch here. 
and it was used as like a lean-to for when people would come up here. I think they would just camp out, go over there, do whatever their ritual stuff was, and then come back. It's weird. It, it really is weird. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the creepy things that I found in the woods, which I honestly hope I never did find, um, just let me know. Alright, bye.